Hello, here is Baby Walker. I hope you are doing well. Welcome back to my channel in another episode about Yamaha PSR S975. In today's video, we will be exploring some advanced features with Style Creator and Synthesizer music. So, if you are interested in, just stay tuned and we will start in a moment. Alright, so we are in our super steady mount and this video is, uh, you know, about style creator mostly, but some of you have asked about copying patterns in this particular model because I have made a lot of videos uh, with style creator about my previous model, which was Yamaha PSRS 672. If you are interested in those models, please refer to this video. In the description there is a playlist so you can find everything you need. To find. Of course, if you cannot find, just give me a comment and I will try to help you. Alright, so why I have decided to make another video about Style Creator again in this model and how it refers to those Style Creators. So actually, this one is the highest model in PSRS line, which is discontinued now, but it's still widely used in people and very popular. So I have decided to make this video because this Style Creator has some few new options which you cannot find in PSRS 670, so I hope you will enjoy this video. Let's go deep down to Style Creator. Okay, so uh, some background. Uh, last few months I'm really excited about synthesizer music. I'm thinking about buying myself an analog, but here you get the synthesizer engine and you can pre create some voices, edit some voices, layer them, filter them and create some crazy ideas. For example, this is one of the voices which is inside the instrument, but I have altered it and create my own version. So you can do a crazy things like this, this old school 90s, uh, I don't know, 70s maybe, 90s or 80s on uh, this crazy arpeggios and motifs. So, for example, if you want to play something like this. Hello, where are you? And still we got this external tempo, sorry, I need to change it. It's external, so I have disabled my uh, PSR. Sorry, not PSR, my loop station, which was a MIDI. So I need to go fast to MIDI if you are interested about synchronizing MIDI and so on. Just stay, check the description, there is a video about connecting external devices. So I, I was using my Boss RSC loop station be, before, just before recording this video and I have disabled it and I have set the master clock external so the tempo was external so you won't be able to hear anything. So basically if you have a bit like this and you of course you can play it just like I have played seconds ago, but it's very difficult to hold the tempo to apply any styles because both of your hands are uh, occupied. So in today's video we will build such a, you know, loop arpeggio. It's not a, a quite arpeggio that you can find in here, so you need to break some melody. Actually, it's a few notes from one chord and then switching to another chord. But let's forget about the the music theory. In today's video we will use a function key. We will go to we will go to tab number 2 and select the style creator. This is how you can get into style creator. All right. So this video is about making something from scratch. And in today's video I will show you complete new style without bit rhythm. We won't be using and the, the bit that I was using before. So now I will click the new style and we get completely empty style. The first thing that Yamaha suggests you to do is to record the rhythm. 
Uh, and of course, some songs, composition, it's convenient to start from the rhythm. But in our, you know, synth music, we will be doing it uh, starting from, um, you know, this main riff, this main arpeggio, which is in the background, and then we do some mashup with it. So, to change the recorded channel, now you are on the basic tab, and you are recording channel, we are ready to recording channel. So, rest of the channel are empty, are disabled, not recorded, because we are completely zero scratch starting from zero so to change a voice uh of and, and actually what is style maybe i will start from this because uh, you know i, I will repeat, repeat myself but the style consists usually from two sections for a rhythmic so drums you can set which drum you would like to use i mean uh, you, would you like to rocks uh, drum sets SFX, some dance and, and so on, bluesy, more jazzy, or some, you know, more aggressive drums, depending on your style. I mean, the, what music genre you want to compose in a style, you select some, some drum kit. And then we get one, two, three, four, five, six. Six additional channels that could be used by any instrument, voices like guitars, bass, drums, trumpet, whatever you have uh, in your music genre and you want to use it. Yamaha suggests some uh, pre-recorded, I mean, uh, pre-named, pre-labeled uh, layers, pre-naming channel, because there is nothing more than the MIDI channels within the style. And the style could consist of those eight channels maximum. Uh, so they uh bass the third channel they can bass then there are two channels for main chord progression so it could be guitars pianos whatever there is a pad some phrases one and two in variations so to select the voice that i would like to use in the channel number three in my style which is the bass channel usually will be the section synth and it's called the pre Maybe we will use uh, my own voice, this lowered version. Okay, so we go back to, we have selected this, but it's not now active. Why? Because we are recording rhythmic part. To change the, the currently selected for recording channel, which will be, a, uh, which you can hear if you start. Now we got the drum kit. So to change it, you are pressing and holding rec channel and select your channel bottom line of this menu. In my condition, it is uh, number three. So now we are recording bass, which is this. But I will go to octave down. Somewhere here. And I will try to record it. Okay, tempo. My tempo, the, my current tempo of this style is 120. Of course, this is not a final, uh, you know, settings because recording style is nothing more than recording MIDI. So we can change it later. Um, but the default tempo, if you load the style into memory, will be this settings. This is the default tempo of the style, which is 120 BPM. If you are an experienced player, 120 BPM will, would not be a problem for you to record because, um, I mean, if you are not experienced, maybe you could start from lower tempo, like 80. And then if this music genre requires higher tempo, you could uh, expand I mean uh, higher make it higher later but in my condition this tempo 120 will be set if you want to change the time measure of your style which is by the default 4-4 four, four, which means on each bar you get four bits so you get one two three four one two three four this is a four four measure and it is widely used for many genres in modern music uh, but there are some swingings and other measurements, time measurements that you can change it for 5, 4, and so on and so on. So the tempo is 120, which means 120 quarter notes in a minute.
so 120 bits per minute yeah and the bit is this one quarter note and each bar is a fourth quarter so one two three four one two three four and this is how the measurement how the metronome uh, save it okay so okay let's go back to topic pattern length pattern length is a very important thing because it actually gives you how the phrase in your style how long it is pattern length one it is only like this one two three four and it's looped and now it's again again here you can see i will zoom it more bar number one because we are still on bar number one one two three four one two three four i'll recommend you to record at least pattern length two because you will be able first when you stop the pattern but pattern one is boring very long and uh, i mean <laughs> not very long it's very short and you cannot have anything interesting on pattern length one so um i will also show you the moment when i change the pattern length from uh, one to two the button execute show up because if you change this and you want to you know confirm your changes you're pressing the execute completed and now your tempo i mean uh, your your pattern length of your style is two now it's nothing recorded and if if it's nothing recorded the yamaha produces the metronome sound so one two three four second bar three four and again one two three four second bar three four this is our pattern and we know where it starts and when it ends and it is very important if you are recording in loop because then you will hear and know where to start and when to end you are recording in loop and uh, but but the very important thing about each styles is to start exactly in the moment when you need it so now i will record some phrase sorry i need to go to section channel recording again and still press record and bass and i will try to record something like this so when i hit the start button this button here when i hit it it will start recording so each note which i play which i play will be recorded in this loop but uh, this is loop recording so i don't need to start momentarily <laughs> because it's very important to hit the start and then start to playing there is no pre-counter feature like in DAF software and in looper you may know from my channel even if the in, in my uh, zoom g3xn guitar effects if, if it has the looper there is a pre-counter so you are starting and it counts one bar and then it starts recording here this feature and it's actually in all my uh, instrument that i know from yamaha without there is no such thing because we are recording in loops so you can one two three four one two three four and you can start whenever you want but the moment is you need to start in a tempo i mean in the first two three four one two three four one two three four this is our recorded loop so I as you can see I have started and recorded in from the beginning and if you are not sure if you record it in perfectly I mean the start from the proper moment just play start and listen if it starts from the beginning or not starting in the middle somewhere so and if you are not uh, I mean uh, sure if you are in tempo you could use a great option which is in here it's called a quantizing quantizing which means take note to the given you know uh, note signature time signature so quarter or half of the note or, or one of eight and then try to attach it snap to the grid like you if you if you know uh, the, the software called fl studio 
everything there is like in drum machine. So you are hitting notes exactly in a moment if you are using this channel rack. Uh, it's very old school channel rack for setting. So basically uh, quantizing do nothing more than attach uh, your note to the proper moment. So if you go to channel section on the tab channel, the first option is here is quantize. I need to zoom up a little bit to show you, sorry, to show you all the features. All right, so we get quantized. And if I, uh, if you take a look in here, my size of quantizing is, is uh, one of eight. And this is good for this kind of performance. So if I want to execute quantize, I press execute. And now if I st press start, it's completely, absolutely in a rhythm. If you feel that you recorded uh, too far, all right, maybe in, let's go to rhythm, rhythm. So now I have recorded this loop. Uh, and of course, uh, th there may be a question if, if is the style have to, you know, have a, a rhythmic part? And the answer is, <laughs> well, let's try save this and check how it flies. So to save your newly created style, only one simple loop in, uh, in G major, actually it's a G major, but it should be in C major, whatever. Plus here the save and the button save here and give the name. Let's call it new style synth. Okay. And now we could leave the style creator. Press start. Our style is without the rhythm, so we need to press accompaniment. <laughs> And it plays. So we get our, you know, pretty nicely looped piece of electronic music. Using the live knobs, we could attach it to note to voice, but to by pressing the assign, by pressing the assign, we could attach it to style section, and then we will be able to, you know, cut off and resonance, play. So by the live knobs, you could also uh, affect, I mean, change the characteristic of the styles itself. Okay, so now the part which is very important. And of course, we have saved our style. We could again go to style creator and continue working on it. So we press function, we press function, we go to style creator, and now in the memory is our lastly edited style i mean the style which is now in memory so if you want to take a style which is in here and you want to you know make some changes within or maybe you want to borrow only the drum section you just could do it by selecting the style going to style creator removing the channel that you don't want to use and go on somewhere else all right so on this style we got only one channel now recorded now let's try to record some very basic kicks, some very basic rhythmic section uh, to have something. And then I will show you how to copy this part into another variation. So now we get a rhythmic. Let's try to find something. C is kick and F sharp is hi-hat. So now 
and by using drum setup here we could select other other type of instrument we got analog power kit studio drum machines acoustic kit live rock bass arabic turkish symphony hi hop house kit if i'm pressing it shows me all the possible instruments and if you press and hold the upper you change the bang so from power you could change to dance and now this kick is more dancey so if you press the drum setup this is this is, this instrument is called kick techno and this is hi-hat closed hi-hat number three and we will use it okay so let's use this uh, drums um, this instrument this dance drums and let's record it so again just like recording the bass section you just hit the start there is metrom the bars are you can see here which channel is playing and if you are ready, just kick. One, two. And it's all. So we have recorded uh, our kicks and hi-hats. And now let's go to channel and to, we will quantize this. Now our selected channel is rhythm two, if you want to change it to another use a knob but if you are quantizing you always start from last recorded the this currently selected but make sure that you are quantizing the section the, the, the channel of the style which is nothing more than MIDI channel uh, that you want rhythm to and let's execute also with 1 of 8 execute and now it should be perfectly in the rhythm with our previous section. Okay, so now we have main variation called A, and I didn't set it at the beginning, but each style could have up to four variations with letters A, B, C, and D. There could be a break in, which is also a part of, you know, very. Uh, part of variation and three possible endings and three possible intros and all of them could be recorded in here in style creator so now we are still on our main variation of our style variation a just first actually and we have recorded some kicks and um, hi-hats on the rhythmic part on the rhythmic channel and we have also recorded some Let's call it bass, synth bass. But I think the synth bass is really loud. It's pretty too loud comparing to the to the drums. And how could you change the volume of recorded? I mean, this volume is of course the touch sensitive keyboard, but also the style, the voice itself could be more aggressive or less aggressive. But if you want to boost and cut down some particular style and make some basic mix in here, you go using tabs to section channel. And on the option number two, you get something which is called velocity change. But we don't change the velocity of the drums. I want to cut down the velocity of the bass. So I have used the knob to change to bass. And now I will cut it. To 60% maybe and I will execute and now I will play maybe another cut and I now I think it's it's nice okay so that it was another tip how to change the volume of each notes on the selected channel the channel that you want okay and now the copying copy which is pretty non-intuitive in here because 
there is no button called execute. I think it's a bag on the software or <laughs> the software programmers forget about it. But <laughs> there is a button save, which works as execute and save in one time. Okay, so we got, now we are on section A. If you want to make change which section you are now, you could use uh, buttons here, press it to B. It doesn't change automatically, but it shows you the section that you want to change. So you select B because you have pressed B, and now you're confirming using OK. So now we are on section B. It's completely empty, so the metrom is being played if you start playing. The pattern length is 2, and actually nothing is recorded. And if you want to repeat the same variation like you have in section A, you have two options. You can record it again, which is pretty boring, or you can copy it and then alter, make some changes. So, of course, if you are copying, you need to have the same pattern length because you won't be able to copy something which is, you know, the pattern length on two into one because you lose half of this performance. So you change to two, pressing execute. Now it's completed. If you press play, nothing is copied because we only expand it to section to length two. So we go to assembly section, assembly tab. And now we are on variation B, which is important because if you are copying, you need to set your current variation to the variation destination. I mean, where you want to copy. And here you're selecting copy from. So we will be copying from variation A. We will be copying rhythmic 2. And if I press, and of course we are in recording channel on the rhythmic 2. So we will be copying into rhythmic 2 from the variation A rhythmic 2. Again, so I go to assembly. I select where is my source uh, pattern when I want to get it and now I press save and go back and press play and nothing happened that's interesting wow <laughs> all right mm, all right section B is empty section A is not empty written two Yes, uh, you are pressing uh, save, and again you are saving a, a... That's pretty odd, because it was working in a seconds moments ago. Doesn't matter, we will try to figure it out. Okay, so we are on Rhythmic 2 section. We don't want to change it to anything else. We are in copying from main, from channel rhythmic 2, play type solo. It doesn't actually matter, but if you press enter and press save, I don't want to save it again, but let's try to do this. Okay, so <laughs> we weren't able to copy the bit because I don't know, but this bit disabled, I mean, disappears. So we need to record it again. Uh, I mean, so let's copy not the bit, but let's copy the section, uh, this bass section. So to do this, we go to recording channel. We are changing recording channel to bass. So press and hold, change to recording, go there, uh, base, select base, section A, copy from base. And of course, we need to be on a section B. And from section A, copy this base, save. 
go back. And now it works. We are on section B, we get bass, we change to section A, we have the same bass. Of course, we could add something to this. So on the section A, let's leave it like this one. On the section B, we add some more, but I want to record this bit uh, again because I don't know where it's gone. So don't worry, just go to recording channel. We are on bit number one. Uh, let's change to dance kit. All right, and we are recording again. One, two, three, four, five, one, two. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. And now I will quantize it, of course, because it is not perfectly in a rhythm. So we are quantizing rhythm two, pressing execute, completed. Okay, so I have shown you how to copy. It wasn't super very uh, intuitive, but you have to select from where, I mean, destination is here. This is channels, rhythmic two, rhythmic four, bass, and so on. This is copy from, and of course, you have to be on a proper section. So now let's go to section B. Let's go to channel recording because on section B we got only metrum we doesn't have beat I will record something in order on here on this moment so I will quantize it, quantize rhythmic 2, execute, let's listen, all right, and I and I have also promised you to record uh, something more on this, uh, on this um, section uh, B, but the channel bass, so to change the channel that you want, you are pressing and holding ch channel recording and pressing the channel that you want. Record is now on this and we are still in loop. So if you play, okay, so <laughs> I know this is really odd style and w weird, but I will save it. Let's go back, let's leave the style creator and let's test it. As I said, our style now have two variation, A and B. Uh, accompaniment is enabled. We are pressing it. This is beat on variation A. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two hi-hats on the end. On section B, it's completely different drum set. But our melody bass is like this. So, <laughs> okay, let's summarize all the things. In this video, I have shown you how to start completely new style, how to create completely new style using Style Creator, how to record basic parts of the styles. 
So the channels within styles, how to change which channel you want to record, how to you change, extend or shrink the pattern left on the site, how to make, how to change the time measure, how to change the basic tempo of the style, how to record in loop, how to, you know, copy pattern from one to another, which was pretty tricky at the beginning. And I don't know why my channel has been deleted on a moment, but let's forget about this little mistake. Uh, I am not cutting this video. I am showing you everything from the beginning to the end. It's a live one master shot. So, all right. Um, there is a lot of other options in a style creator. You could use variation B, C, D, and intro and endings and fill up and fill downs. And also in this style creator, you had something which is called the step recording and the possibility to re replace the notes within your style. I will only show you this because we got over 50 minutes now. So let's again go to function. Let's go to to style creator. Let's go to edit and let's play. This what you can see now is the beat because each and uh, even drums are the MIDI notes. C1, F sharp one, C1, F sharp one. You can listen and see the notes, the MIDI notes that are in your recording. You could also insert, delete, re replace, copy, and so on. If you want to change the channel, now we are on channel number one, but if we change it using uh, here the, the bass, we are still seeing these notes, but if we uh, go to recording channel and press record channel and change to bass and go to edit, you will see our melody. I mean this bass section. So if you are interested how to use this one, I'm in this edit mode and this is basically, I forget to say it, but the main difference between the style creator in PSRS 670 and this one is this edit tab, which is, you know, there is no edit tab in the uh, cheaper model because probably of the interface lack in the controls, but they, they also don't want to have this advanced feature in the low price model, then I, it's you know obvious to put the best things in the, the more ex most expensive models. All right, so to summarize, if you are interested in more how to do more things with Style Creator and using this step editor, just give me a comment and I will create another video. If you don't understand something and want undo, or you want me to repeat something, just Give me a tip and I will create a video. So thanks for watching. It was BB Walker. We got very long video, 38 minutes now. So see you later. Have a nice weekend and good luck.